When last week I made a video about the non-Newtonian fluid behavior of the basaltic magma in the Schwarzenegger volcanic system, it was around uh, 18 million cubic meters of magma gathering there. It requires a lot of shaking, like a ketchup bottle that you have to shake to flow the ketchup. The magma requires that. And here we are. Today we had the uh, uh, tremors and a storm of the earthquake shaking the uh, seal and the magma conduit and this is the result. We have an eruption and this eruption reached 200 meters in my estimate based on the uh, comparing it with the K1 crater which was actually the fissure open today cut through it. This is the earliest map the first map I draw then the Icelandic Meteorological Office uh, draw the second map. You can see that. This is uh, this one, uh, 3.4 kilometers. And then we have now the MBL uh, Iceland having published this, which shows the uh, fissure has passed the Hagafell and is getting closer to the Grindavik. This is the eruption that you can see actually going through the path of the uh, K1 and the fissures related to that. And the K1 is at the center. I'm showing you, I'm going to actually to zoom on that. You can see the K1 crater is now, uh, is a sliced like a cupcake, like a cake by knife as if by this fissure, which brings the magma from the depth on the Swarzengi through the conduit toward the east and then erupting in the Green Dubic Rift Valley through that uh, system of the cracks that we have there. The lava was traveling very fast, one kilometer in one hour, that's 1,000 meter, very quickly. Remember, this is a very dense material. We are talking about something denser than a concrete. And it flew and just reached the defensive wall of the Grindavik. And now we have a fissure actually just north of the uh, Grindavik defenses and to the west side, we have actually the wall only holding this. This is the defensive wall which separates the telecommunication center of the U.S. Navy to the west side from the town of the Grindavik. When we pan, we can see the town of the Grindavik behind this cloud of the uh, gases and the fumes uh, from this eruption reaching that area, burning the moss, also creating some uh, smoke of its own. And the electricity is cut. This is actually, you see that pylon practically this time. The wires heated up and melted. They're falling down. And as you can see here, it's almost like an island against the flow of the um, lava. It's chaos. We have also lots of rain water gathered in the lava tubes, creating phreatic explosions and numerous of of these explosions happened today. This was just one of them. Fortunately, 300 plus uh, residents of the Green Lovick who were still there in the companies and businesses and some of the town uh, houses and the farms evacuated. The alarm was sounded and uh, some people even left in the middle of a delivery of some goods.